Today we're setting up another apiary. Hello, I'm Griff Reeves, welcome to Winnie Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now it is a wet, windy day here in Wales. But I've got an exciting job to do. Maybe not exciting in this weather, but exciting for the year. And we are going to be setting up a new apiary on this site. We're actually going to put the bees here. But this site is pretty cool. See all these little lakes. Now I'm not entirely sure how this thing works. There's like reed beds and lagoons and there's pumps and there's filters and there's some kind of slurry processing cleaning thing or like dirty water cleaning process. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to ask the college here to see if I can do a video with them and they explain all this. This is super high tech stuff in farming. Um, they are with actually at Getty Air College where I went to college so this is uh, one of many videos this year we're going to be filming from the college here and um, really really tough to have bees here I remember coming here when I was must have been 19, 20 when I cut my teeth and started my career in countryside management this is where I came of course all this didn't exist yet at the time this is all new but just down there is the college where I went to and I started off in uh, countryside management uh, in this college. But back to this, so this is some kind of dirty water cleaning system. Very, very high tech stuff and I'm sure we will be able to get a bit more info later on in future videos on how exactly this works and maybe go through the step by step of, uh, of how it uh, operates. But we're in this reed bed system, it's fenced in, the cows can't get in here. The hives are gonna go there. Now lots of people come here, students, etc., to come and see this setup and the gate to come in here is over there. So down here with the, with the farmer yesterday, we decided that the best place to put the bees was over here where people didn't walk. They're gonna be out the way. Now we are in the Towie Valley here. So the big thing with the Towie Valley is literally the other side of those trees, you've got the big river Towie. That does flood. So all those fields down there does flood but up here where we're standing, this stays dry. So we can stick to a traditional type uh, hive stands using brick and H-frame timber, which I'll show you quickly. So that's the wood, bricks, and we're literally just gonna be placing them. We're on a bit of a slope here, so we're gonna be bringing this level with the bricks, and we're just gonna have one line uh, over here so we don't take up too much space in here so that's the idea that's what we're gonna do so let's see how easy it is I tell you it is really cold i use this cold without having this cold spell all of a sudden so i need my waterproof coat to keep warm and get the hoil like we say in welsh get the will or the oomph to crack on with this job got my ex army fleecy top on much much warmer so first job we got to decide where they're going to go so we're only going to keep about 10 hives maybe 12 on this site you can get five on these stands but they're going to be four two and two two and two that's how we're going to do it with a gap because with this site we can't really um create a pattern they've, they've got to be in a line so I, I want a decent gap between all the hives to reduce drifting so i can come down a bit more but we've got to be mindful of the turning area to turn up there. So there's plenty of gap there. I may bring this down a tiny bit. And what I'm going to do then, that may sit up on there. So the first job is, are we happy with the placement? I think I am, and there's room there then for a small stand uh, to take maybe three hives. So that's all the space we need on this site. I'm happy with that. Now the tools we need, nothing fancy. I've got a rubber mall. Now the rubber mall I found is really good. When you put in these bricks down, like footings, I suppose, you can hit them level with a rubber mall. If you hit it with a steel one, the brick will shatter. A good spade 
and a lava. So let's see how far off we are. So you can see by the bubble, we're way out. That's level, so we've got that much gap to lose. I think I'll lose our two bricks easy. So we're gonna build a level pad there, level pad there, get the first bricks on and basically uh, work up from that. So that's what we've done here to get the level. Just dug that level to eight inch blocks, bring that up. And we've got a, a four inch block on here and you can see we've dug that down a fair bit. And the check, it's good enough for the high stand. And that's good enough. We're not building a house. The bubble can be a little bit over the line. But as long as they're roughly level, that's perfect. Now, this side, now we're actually gonna be placing that on top like that. Then we probably just have to find, we just gotta dig that side down. Let's grab that level, see how far off we are. Oh, we're not far off at all. An inch. So I've got to dig down five inches because this is a four inch block. So we're going to always, you never want that wood in the mud. So it's all the blocks are doing. We're protecting the hive stand from the cold and the damp that raises up, that's gonna rot your hive stand. So by doing it with the brick on the floor, you stop the rot, but the brick disperses the weight much better than if it was that piece of wood hitting the floor. So a little bit of dig in here and we won't be far off. All right, that's that done. Now what I like to do is, where this ends, it does reach over halfway to the brick. So we're not weighing the brick down on one corner more than the other. And this one's pretty good. Shade out of the barrel or the line. Happy with that. Now there is one more stand to come here, which I haven't got. But it's only going to be a small one. From there. To roughly there. Just something to take an extra two hives. And that site is done up nice. So I've left that, I'm going to leave that brick. This brick, because that's going to get dug down in there. And the stand then is going to sit on top of that. Just like we did with that one. Just like how I used to build boardwalks back in the day when I was a countryside ranger. And uh, if you didn't know, I was a countryside ranger for 12 years and building this type of stuff all the time. But uh, not for bees, but for people to walk on. But the design is exactly the same. You have your foot in, work out your level, then work off uh, the end of that wood onto the next one and just keep going. That's how you do steps or boardwalks. And that is a solid, solid hive stand now what i like to do i like to go with the fence as well and that is looking good so that's my job done you'll be seeing a lot more of this site
as time goes on. But for now, we're done. And just for that last stand, there's no point coming back just to do that one stand. When we move some bees down, you know, in the next few weeks, we'll build that one stand uh, at the same time. Um, that's it. Much easier than I was expecting. Good ground here. All this has been filled up with stone right down here. So I've got all your access, which is great. Not going to get bogged down or anything here. If you notice, how did I get in here in January? Well, all this is stone underneath the grass. So it's hard standing. And of course, the Ranger is four wheel drive. And there we go. Another right step for the business. Another adventure. Beekeeping adventure starting out a new apiary here and hopefully we'll have some good honey crops here. Now a little bit about where we are. This is a dairy farm. So when you see the grass fields there, unless they put clover in, there's not going to be much for the bees there. But we've got the river there, we've got oxbow lakes, we've got big banks, big hedgerows, big trees. There's a woodland behind there. And you can see right down the valley, there's woodlands all over in the distance. Now you're not going to be able to see it there, but on top of that mountain there, that's the Naval Castle, so that's Landelo. That's like two minutes away. The bees will be there in probably less than two minutes. So we've got a nice big valley. We're at the bottom of the valley, and the bees have got access to go right up both sides, right down the Towie Valley that way, and right down the Towie Valley that way. Now there's a lot of balsam on the river. That's another good thing for honeybees, not good for anything else, but good for honeybees. So it's interesting to see how this site will produce. There's plenty of stuff here, and I was talking to one of the farmers here yesterday, they are thinking of putting some wildlife strips or plant wildflower seeds in some of the fields as wildlife corridors, so they've got wildflower strips within uh, fields. I think they grow uh, wheat here, so they might put that around the edges, so no doubt the bees will be getting in to that as well. So, exciting times here at Gessliair. Really happy to be having bees here, and it's like a full circle. I'm back here where everything started off all those years ago. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Another apiary setup done. Easy peasy. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload news every week. Thanks for watching.